Introduction Tarun is at his friend Kunal's place. Kunal's mother is preparing some lemonade for him. She squeezes some lemon juice in a glass of water, adds sugar and ice cubes and serves it to him. He can see no traces of sugar and lemon juice in the water. He sees the ice cube floating on the top. He is amused to see that different substances have different characteristics. In this lesson, we will learn about the properties possessed by different materials. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Classify substances as hard or soft. Classify substances as soluble or insoluble. Classify substances as floating or sinkable. Classify substances as transparent, opaque or translucent. Let us perform a small activity to understand the concept of hardness or softness of material. Take a sponge soaked in water. Now take a stone drenched in water. Try to squeeze both to remove water. Which of the two are you able to squeeze? Of course, sponge. Can you squeeze the stone? <laughs> you cannot. Objects that are difficult to compress are called hard objects. Objects that are easy to compress are called soft objects. Pyle's brother comes back home after a football match. He is drenched in sweat. Her mother takes a glass of water, adds a spoonful of glucose and gives it to him for instant energy. Pyle notices one thing. Glucose dissolves in water instantaneously. She decides to experiment with some other substances. She observes that some substances dissolve easily in water like salt, sugar, etc. She also notices that some substances do not dissolve in water, such as coconut oil, mustard oil, stone, marbles, etc. Substances that dissolve easily in water are called soluble substances. Substances that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances. Some gases are also soluble in water, such as oxygen. Oxygen dissolved in water helps aquatic animals survive. Let's check what you have learned. Drag and drop the correct option in the respective box. It has rained heavily and a huge puddle has formed in front of Prachi's house. She is very excited. She first throws a stone. It disappears inside the puddle. Then she throws a leaf. It starts floating. Do you know why? The stone sinks because it's heavy. The leaf remains afloat because it is light. Thus, objects can be classified on the basis of their floatability in water. Ashish's father took him to an ice cream parlor one day. He asked Ashish to choose a flavor. Ashish decided to take a look. The ice creams were placed in a refrigerator with glass tops. Ashish could very easily choose a flavor without any assistance from the person at the counter. Can you say why? Since the refrigerator had glass tops and glass is transparent, Ashish could look at all the flavors that were available in the parlor and make his selection. A transparent substance is a substance that allows all light to pass through it. In other words, it absorbs light reflecting back very little. As a result, it appears clear and things can be seen through it. Other examples of transparent substances are water, air, plastic, etc. Can you see what is happening in a closed room? No. Do you know why? 
It is because the walls and doors of the room are opaque. An opaque substance is a substance that does not allow light to pass through it. In other words, it is impenetrable by light. It does not absorb light. Instead, it reflects light back. Hence, we cannot see things through an opaque substance. For example, we cannot say what is kept in a closed wooden box or a metal container as wood and metal are opaque. Reka is getting ready to embroider a handkerchief. She has located a pattern in a book. She wants the same on her handkerchief. She uses a tracing paper to copy the pattern from the book onto her hanky. Now she is all set to embroider. What made this embroidery possible was the translucent tracing paper. A translucent substance is a substance that has the characteristics of both transparent and opaque substances. While it absorbs some light, it reflects back the rest. The absorbed light is transmitted in a scattered or diffused manner. Other examples of translucent substances are paper, paraffin wax, greased paper, etc. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Some materials are hard, while some others are soft. Some are soluble in water, some others are not. Some materials float in water, some others sink. Some materials are transparent, some are opaque, and some others are translucent. A transparent substance is a substance that allows light to pass through it. An opaque substance is a substance that does not allow light to pass through it. A translucent substance is a substance which is partially transparent and allows light to pass through it in a diffused manner.